Hello, welcome to Nixie's Notebooks, and this is Quick Tip Monday. Hello, and I've actually done this twice now, and um, didn't have it recorded either time because I didn't turn on my microphone. So what today's um, quick tip is going to be is using cards that you've gotten, um, you know, the ones that you got from someone special, or you love the picture on the front of them, and you just hate to throw them away, just something that you can use them for. Um, they make great journaling tags. Um, so this is obviously not a card that um, someone gave me. If they did, didn't really like me very much because they didn't really put much in there, but no, for real, it, uh, I bought this at a dollar store. There was a package and they were in the dollar store. Um, I use these in a couple different ways. Sometimes I'll just insert the whole card into the um, journal signature and then I usually just put a belly band over it or you know we can make tags out of these um, these are cards that someone has get cards that people have given me um, so let's start with this one so it's like a happy holidays I just liked the little picture on the front I am gonna be making a uh, holiday journal one or two and so I figured I would stick that in there this came off of another card a grand great space for journaling. It's a rather bigger card, but you can just stick it in one of the little pockets and just let it go. Um, and this one, I'm probably going to have to crop this a little bit. It has great paper on the back. Just really pretty. Um, and then, as you can see, some of these I've rounded the corners already. Like, these are finished. I've already rounded the corners. I'm probably not going to do much else to them. And there's, um, then there's these. Great journaling space. I'll probably round the corners and then be done with that one. And there's this one. I'm going to have to put some pretty paper on the back or something. Maybe do a little collage on the front. Um, and that brings me to this one, which as you can see, the little pretty paper. I um, This was on a card and I, I, I liked, I already took the picture off, but I liked this design. I thought, well, that'd be pretty. We'll just put a little collage on it. I'm still not done. going to do, maybe add this to it. Um, he wrote her a love note. Obviously not with a big purple piece of paper there. I'm going to frame it on here. I'm going to frame the little quote on there and probably stick it on somewhere, somehow, maybe. We'll let's see how that goes. So so here we're going to use this one. I'm going to show you just how to quickly do it and how to make it work for you. I'm just going to stick these over here so I don't lose all them. All right. So when you're doing it, you're going to want to... Um, you don't want to figure out what you're going to want to save. I want to save as much of this as possible just because, uh, you know, it's a pretty picture. So I probably want to save as much as possible. So we are going to go right up. I'm not going to do on the fold because I don't want the edges of paper to be folded necessarily. So there we go. And I'm just going to go through and I'm just going to trim up everything just a little bit just to make sure. Side this side, okay. I don't even follow my own rules for cutting. That's awful. All right, here we go. Sorry about the dead air. Also, if I didn't mention this, I, I actually recorded this a couple times. Like I said, um, if the rain's bothering you, I apologize. It just doesn't rain very often here in the desert, so I do like to listen to it, and I do have my window open right now, so. Okay, so. Now that I got this, I can either leave the corner square. Um, I think for tags and stuff, I think it looks slightly better if you kind of round the corners. So we're going to do that. Whenever you use one of these, you just make sure you insert it. And then boop. So here you go. You have a nice rounded piece. Um, and you can then add a tag. Um, you can add like a pull tab on it, like at the top with some paper. You do it on this side. You could sew it on. You can use ribbon. Um, you can punch a hole in the top as well, and you can pull the ribbon through. I got enough here. I'll do that. How about we do that? All right, so I'll do it up here. Oh, that's the right size. I think it should work. There we go. Oh, 
actually per works perfectly. See? Nice. I probably pulled most of that off camera. Sorry about that. And then we tie it. There you go. You have a nice journaling tag that you can put in your journal. So that's basically how you do it. Pretty simple, pretty easy. And um, these make for nice, uh, if you're, you know, say you've made a bunch of ephemera, but your journal needs a little bit more, or you think you want to add a little bit more, and you're giving it as a gift, and you want just some little extra pieces to make it pop, great way to make it, make it happen. So thank you for watching, and I'll see you on the next video. Bye. Oh, like and subscribe. Sorry, forgot to say that. Like and subscribe. I'm supposed to say that over video, but I forget sometimes. So anyways, thank you. <laughs> Bye.